Undefeated this season, the Deeks have won 41 of their last 46 at the Joel. And it's Louisville who controls the opening tip. Car guarded by Zan Payne, that's the son of Louisville head coach Kenny Payne. Salas lines up a three, and it's good. Quickly double on Huntley Hatfield all game long. He's been averaging almost a double-double over his last eight games. From the corner, that one goes. So much of in transition. Transition defense is going to be a big deal for Louisville today. How about Carr showing off the shakes? He knows he's got the mismatch there. Zan Payne doesn't play a whole lot. Making his first start of the season. Here comes Hildreth blocked at the rim. That's Trey White. James the other way. Pulls from the baseline and hits. Being shot no good by Clark. Hunter Salas. The Gonzaga transfer. That's a three. It's his second three and it's 8-4 weight. Out to the logo to press Clark. James around Hildreth. Boy, he has been playing extremely well of late. Did have a little bit of an off night against North Carolina. That elbow shot, people say either a three or layup, but James is a really good 15, 16 foot pull up jump shooter. You've got to let him take it. He's making it. This guy's pretty good at that too, Hunter Salas. And he was ejected from the game. It really changed you know, the final moments of that game. NC State went on to win a game that they had trailed most of the way. Come on the monster or the double, but he waited because Hatfield, Huntley Hatfield was too far off the block. He was waiting for him to take another dribble closer to the paint. Hildreth for three. He had been one for his previous ten. Even more than just scoring, just his toughness, other things that he does that doesn't always show up in the box score. White over the big Efton Reed for the bucket. Thing to really watch this afternoon on those drives against Reed. And he got into foul trouble against NC State. As Boopy Miller sinks the three. That's been a thing with Wake. They can't afford Carr and Reed to get in foul trouble. They've had foul trouble issues. And I think part of the thing there with the double, there you see the points of the paint again. The refs are letting them play. It's been a clean game right now. It's been a good basketball, good clean game by both teams. Trey White hits the jumper. So you know the whistle's coming when the refs need a breather. It's been clean. Good ball rotation, Salas, his third triple. Now, it will be interesting to see, can he really get his rhythm back? And this has been over a year since he's played. Parker Fredrickson creates space for someone like Salas. Yeah, and just the spacing, it stretches everything, and here he goes. Monsanto hits the three, his first shot, his first basket of the season. Rebound, Monsanto, Wake, seven for 12 from three through the first 11 minutes of this half. Fredrickson, make it 8 of 13. Here's the other thing, they get those great transfers, and he's he's a magician to be able to get them to play so well together. That's Caleb Glenn, the freshman for the Hammer. Wake can put on the floor, when you're talking about spacing, with all these shooters on the floor, it's almost five out. It is five out, and you saw Salas took it to the basket, wanted the foul, didn't get the call. James over Hildreth, too strong. Brandon Huntley Hatfield on the putback. He's got an advantage against Keller inside. I'm not, I'm not as cool of a dresser as she is, that's for certain. Fredrickson with the three, the sharpshooter from Oklahoma. Almost 95% of his shots this year are threes. Or a low pass, it was directly into the shooter's pocket and nothing but a three for Fredrickson. Huntley Hatfield against Reed, who's got the foul, and it's knocked out of bounds. The CAA ruled him eligible before the game against Rutgers. He had a double-double in that first game, and Steve Forbes said afterwards he raises the ceiling for this entire season. And Here's Carr using the shot fake. Sets and hits. Screen. Against Glenn, Andrew Carr picking up where he left off Tuesday when he had a career-high 28. Wake has 10 threes in this opening half. White banging against Hildren and gets the bounce. There, again, this is you're right in that double digit. Louisville's got to keep it in single digits going to halftime. These possessions are humongous for Louisville. Reed, the face-up jumper. That wasn't their best of look three, of a three that they've had this half. 
Johnson on the drive. And a nice drop off to Brandon Huntley Hatfield. Get to the paint. Make Reed have to make a decision. He, he attacks, got it to Hunt, Huntley Hatfield and gets the basket. How about Boopy Miller? He's so good off the bounce. Three and layups with him. He can play at that mid range 15, 16, 17 feet, 13, 12 feet as well. James attacking the paint over Reed, who didn't want to pick up that second foul. Cut the lead to five a couple of times in the second half, but then ran out of gas. North Carolina pulled away. This time, Boopy Miller. Blows by the defense. The lead is 15. Sixth team foul on Wake. Next one would put Louisville in the bonus. Nice move by Trey White on the inside. Salas got Huntley Hatfield in the air and knocks down the J as time expires. That caps a 13 point first half for Hunter Salas. Over. Makes a big difference. And you can see right here good defense. Better offense. That's the game of basketball. Play in the two. We've got to stay at home and take out the three. We have to guard the three. We can't overhelp anywhere on the floor. Long two goes by Trey White. Against Carolina on Tuesday or Wednesday, Louisville was down 17 and a half. Trimmed the lead to five as Cam Hildreth gets inside. We've got to keep finding ways to drive the ball into the paint and try to make Reed have to make some decisions. But Great ball to movement, and Carr hits the three. You said it earlier. The ball side, and they're getting too good of a look. Wake Forest is too good of a shooting team as he looks they're getting. James, that's a long two. Reed to a cutting. Carr big to big. Such a skill and an art that's sometimes lost. Great speed on the cut by Carr and fine by Reed. Huntley Hatfield over Reed at the other end. If they're going to have any chance to crawl into this game back, besides taking out the three defensively, they've got to live in the paint offensively. No whistle. Zan Payne wanted the foul. It's too easy for Efton Reed. <laughs> you're hoping on a four, four or five phone calls. You're seeing a kid once or twice, and you're going to be right. Trey White, and that is Louisville's first three of the game. Carr. He's been so good off the shot fake, leans in, and Andrew Carr's got 15 to lead the Deeks. That's why it's the, do you have him out for all, <laughs> the defense, offense, that's, that's the issue. James the steal. Williams the trailer, James does it himself. Potentially going to Dayton, anybody wants to play them in the round of 64, the round of 32. The reality is, is Carr knocks down another three. You're essentially telling the rest of the ACC, hey, your path in is don't lose to anybody except Duke or Carolina. And this league is too good for that to be. Quickness and athleticism, but also a lot of ability to shoot and score in this league. And the spacing in this league makes it very NBA-ish, if that makes sense. But also the way the kind of the styles of the league, of the type of the teams that play up and down and, and, and a lot of... Monsanto! 13 threes for Wake is season high. Wake Forest, one of Joe Lenardi's last four in with a 21 point lead. Wild shot by James, who's slow to get up and the finish on the putback by Glenn. There's Damari Monsanto, open three. Uh, the guy doesn't play a game in 11 months. Comes off the bench and he's three for three from downtown. <laughs> You can see just with Wake due to knee injuries. Matuka's a guy you might see today as well. Steve Forbes says he can give you some pretty good on-the-ball defense. Respectable range. Salas, a near turnover. It's another three. 15. Job. They're, 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 is it, they're, they're one of their better games right now is in terms of just they've been sound in a lot of areas. They're scoring in the paint. Defensively, they've had no answer. <laughs> Issue in Wake, to their credit, has made the shots. Monsanto will try it again. Are you kidding me? Four for four from downtown. This is the entire crowd was ready to erupt if he made that one. Against the 1-3-1, one, one, those slots and corners are open to give you a chance to get... Miller to Keller, that's too easy. 
another element and another scoring option. Yeah, it just opens everything up. The spacing on the floor it just is a big difference. And you can see right there, Wake Forest actually is going five out with five shooters on the floor. They end up turning it over. So I think they're going to try to see, can they get them more comfortable a little bit with the basket, with this back to the basket, so they can use that five out lineup with the five shooters on the floor. Off the turnover, Williams off the Tyler Johnson feed, and he hits the three. Miller in the post, playing the post defense, and he's doing a nice job fronting. He's giving up a lot of size. Carr came out there on the high low by Glenn Carr in game versus Carolina. That you that you finished the game the right way. You played it for the most part really good. Monsanto hit his first four from three, follows his miss. Salas drops it off to Reed. Unselfish basketball. You could set that to Mozart. Reed for, for an easy bucket. Louisville's got Hersey Miller, that's Master P's son, and Zan Payne, head coach Kenny Payne's son in the game, is Glenn to Chapel Hill. And you know, Louisville's upcoming schedule, daunting. You get Virginia at Clemson. Reed knocks it down. I said they were, I thought they were going to get to 20, and they've had good looks. They missed them. I just think that they played the scoreboard. They got Maybe their arm got tired. This is Salas. That's 18. Kevin Dunn lets it go at the horn. That would have been 19. And Wake Forest cruises to a 90-65 to win.